There aren't many places left where true exploration is possible. To shine a light where none has ever been. This is such a place. It is exploration's new frontier. This is only for the experienced divers. You can take a wrong turn and be lost forever. It's as alien as space. That's one reason they dive these underwater caves. To risk the unknown. But part of exploration is a longing to understand the world around us. And these explorers, who came for the adventure, have opened a new environment for scientists. It's an underground river that offers new sources of fresh water to a thirsty world. And something else. They've discovered organisms here that exist as they might have lived at the beginning of life on Earth. Join us for a dangerous journey deep within a subterranean world where secrets wait for new explorers. divers ahead are driven by that idea. It's what real exploration is all about. It's located in the Yucatan Peninsula, a giant hook on a map under the Gulf of Mexico. Close up, the network of underground tunnels falls near the tourist resorts of Cancun and Cozumel. It's called Nahoch Nachich, honeycombed in the limestone beds that once were on the bottom of the sea. Charting it would become an obsession for our team of new explorers. And cave divers made those discoveries possible. Members of Mike Madden's team like Eric Hutchison, who charts the twists and turns of the cave, and then transforms the measurements into maps that allow the scientists to follow. It's a symbiotic relationship. Adventure, science, and art. When I'm old and washed up, and bent, and decrepit, or whatever it is that's going to happen to me, I want to be able to look in a room and see a historical document of the world's longest underwater cave system at that day. And I really think at this cave that that's very attainable. I want to be the cartographer of the world's longest underwater cave system. Eric Hutchison, Mike Madden, and Tom Iloff represent a merger of sport, science, and art. Together, they have set out on a journey to explore, study, and map deeper into the Earth's underwater system than any humans have ever been before. To understand what is occurring within the caves, the scientist relies on explorers to chart the unknown. Exploration and mapping of caves is a form of science because we're documenting through that what the extent of the environment is. It's only through cartographers being able to map features that we're able to effectively understand them. Cartographers like Eric Hutchison, the data collector, his meticulous measurements become accurate pictures of the cave system. As I'm exploring a new passage, I'm actually sketching features of the cave on my way in and taking notes 
like an, as an observer would. You're actually, at this point, you're not a diver, you're not a caver, you're strictly an observer, and you're bringing information back. It's known as Cartesian coordinate plotting, a technique where the explorer collects depth, compass heading, and distances between each survey station within the cave. Along with data and drawings on the cave's structure and formation, Eric will produce a map of the system. These are truly new explorers, charting a new world with the spirit of adventure and the search for knowledge that could be found in all the great explorers of the past. As you're exploring into areas that are just completely undisturbed by anything, not by man, not by anything, you're having a choice. Well, do I want to take door number one, or door number two, or door number three? And uh, unfortunately, you can only take one of those doors and it's just a constant charge that makes you want to see what is on the other side of that door. Serious, dedicated cave diving explorers were providing a vital role by collecting information on the habitat, by reporting observations to us, and by mapping and surveying the caves. Without their work, it would be impossible for us to study the caves in the manner and degree of detail that is necessary. I can only hope that through the work that we're doing here in the Hoche and our connection of this to the sea, that the developers in the area will have a better appreciation of this tremendous resource that's here and the amount of water that moves through the peninsula underground and the quality of that water and take that into consideration in the future. There aren't many places left where true exploration is possible to shine a light where none has ever been. We have been in such a place.